Good day. My name is Joffrey Manjala and I will be presenting Mueller's method and forward differentiation in Visual Basic. Here are the things that we will go over with each topic. The overview, the programming language, the scope and delimitation, the source code, a sample problem, the execution of the program, and a sample output. So first, the Mueller's method. So for the overview, it was first presented by David E. Mueller in 1956. Mueller's method is a root-finding algorithm, a numerical method for solving equations of the form f of x is equal to zero. Mueller's method is based on the secant method which constructs at every iteration a line through two points on the graph of f. Instead, Mueller's method uses three points constructs the parabola through these three points and takes the intersection of the x-axis with the parabola to be the next approximation. So for the formula, we have the given f of x and the points x0, x1, and x2. So here is the main iterative formula on the right. But before that, we have to solve for the parameters a, b, and c. And to solve that, we need h o h1 and d o d1 so for this main iterative formula uh, the sign for this plus minus sign will depend on what the sign of b is so if b is positive we will use positive and negative if b is negative so in this project we will be using microsoft visual basic for the scope and delimitation the function has to be directly entered into the code itself along with the given points x0, x1, and x2. The output will be displayed to designated cells and each parameter per iteration will also be displayed for checking purposes. So for the source code, uh, let us go over to Visual Studio. For the source code, uh, first we define the function that we will be solving. Next we set the given values for x0, x1, and x2. And i is the iteration number and ea will be our error. <clears throat> Since this is an iterative method, we need to make use of the loop function so we have this do while. And then we set an error. From here, we have the formulas displayed earlier for uh, HO, H1, DO, D1. And then we have the parameters A, B, and C to be used in our iterative formula. So for the iterative formula, we have an if then statement based on the value of v or b so if b is less than zero or it is negative so we will use the negative sign here in this formula and then positive if it is positive and then after that we set the new values for x sub 0 x sub 1 and x sub 2 for when we repeat the iteration and then these cells will be where we will be displaying the parameters and the final iteration so we also have a message box to be displayed the sample problem we have is x cubed minus 13 x minus 12 with the points x0 is equal 4.5, x sub 1 is 5.5, and x sub 2 is 5. The answer we have will be the root of 4 after 6 iterations. So to execute the program with a sample output, we will go to the Visual Basic. And here. So here we will put our first sample output. So since the program is already written, the function, 
x sub x raised to 3 minus 13x minus 12 is already here as well as the given and then we already have the cells where they will be displayed so all we have to do is press run so there we have a message box saying that the root is 4 and then here we have the details for the first to six iteration and then we have the final root of four okay and then uh, let us go over to the forward difference so for this we will be having a quick overview so the different approximations of derivatives can be used in the numerical solution of ordinary and partial differential equations. We use finite difference such as forward difference methods to approximate derivatives. So for the formula, we are given the function of x as well as the values for x and h. So we will also be using Visual Basic for this. So for the scope and the limitation, the function as well as the given for x and h has to be manually entered into the code itself in Visual Basic. The parameters and the answer will then be displayed in the designated cells. So now for the source code. So first, we enter the function, and then we start by defining the given values for x and h. After that, the formula for forward difference is then directly entered to the code, and we set which cells the parameters, and then the answer will be displayed into. Then we also set a message box to display the answer. So now we have a sample problem of e raised to sine x over x cubed minus 10x squared minus 4 with the value of x of 0 0.5 and h is 0 0.015. So the answer for this is 6.359665. So we will go over to the Visual Basic for the execution of the program. So here is where we will designate the output. So and then again, we already have the function and the given as well as the formula which will display the answers in the cells. So when we press run, we also have a message box saying that the forward difference is 6.359665. Okay. And there we have it for the visual basic demonstration. So I just want to add that alternatively, if you want to create a running program for these methods, you can also use uh, Visual Studio Code with Python. So I will just show that quickly. So here is the same code side by side with the uh, Visual Basic code. So it is basically very similar with just a few adjustments with the difference in the functions, but it is very similar. And then here is the code for the um, forward difference, which is also very similar. And then I just want to show these programs. So here is a running program for the uh, Mueller's method. So let us take these some sample function that we have. Um, Uh, 4.5, 5.5, and then 5. 
So let's say I want to go until the third iteration. So it will then display up to the third iteration. But then if I tried it again, and let's say I put uh, 10, itera 10 iterations, it will stop at where the final iteration will be because there will be a zero division error. So the answer is also four after six iterations. So we will type exit to close this. Now for the forward difference. So here, uh, we also have the same function, the same given, but we have a different interface. So we put the function, the value of x, the value of h, and then we will receive the answer, which is 6.359665. Press exit. And I just uh, wanted to show that quickly. So um, that will be all for my project. And thank you for watching this video.